just into the newsroom, new insight into how exactly our climate is changing. NASA and NOAA just released their global temperature data for all of 2024, and we're hearing firsthand about the biggest trends researchers discovered and how they impact our environment here in Washington. Joining us live is NASA oceanographer, director Ivana Setinik, and good morning. Thank you so much for uh, joining us here. Um, happy to be with you. So tell us a little bit about what were the biggest changes to Earth's climate and temperature last year, according to the report. Well, to cut the change, 2024 was the warmest year on our record, and our record goes back to the end of the 19th century. And 2024, together with previous nine years, brings us to the 10 warmest years on our record. Um, this is like not a happy news, but I'm trying to be happy about it. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Um, the temperature of the Earth, global temperature of the Earth, went up for 1.3 degrees Celsius, which is 2.3 degrees Fahrenheit. And once again, we know that this trend that we're seeing in global climate is driven by uh, human emission of the greenhouse gases, thanks to our love of the fossil fuels. And I know some people will say, well, it was, it was actually colder where I live here this year. So how is this measured? Do you take into account a bunch of different weather stations? Uh, how do you guys do it? Exactly. I mean, like, if I'm talking to you today, it's really, really cold here in D.C., but it's really, really warm in California. I mean, weather is everywhere. But in order to take control of that, we're using million data points collected all over the globe, both on land and in the ocean. We have buoys, we have ships. They're collecting this data, and all this information is stitched together very carefully to put this, to understand this trend better, and to give you this final number. This is done not just by us at NASA, our colleagues know, and even European Europeans have released similar trend this morning. How did last year's temperature and climate changes impact us here in Washington State? Well, you guys have um, the, the areas of the West Coast and, and, and Northwest, you have seen extreme events as everywhere else in U.S. You have um, you have definitely seen extended droughts. You have definitely seen a rainier season. You have been hit by, by the weather coming with atmospheric rivers. And most of these events are normal. No, we have drier season, we have wetter season. That's all normal. But what you're seeing because of the climate change, you're seeing these events becoming more just like stronger, you know, rains are rainier, you know, droughts are longer and drier. And this shift in these these normal events, this increase in amplitude of the normal event is something that protrudes the system and then it impacts the, not just our livelihood, but livelihood of the ecosystem in which we live in. It changes our ocean, it changes our land, and changes the air that we breathe as well. It seems like it's getting warmer every year, but what are you forecasting here for this year when it comes to Earth's temperatures and major weather events? Well, I mean, based on our model and the trends that we've seen in the last 10 years, I think uh, it would be wise to predict that we're going to continue going on this trend if we're not seeing anything changing. Uh, you know, underlying uh, underlying climate trend, even if you have certain oscillations from year to year, it's just going upwards. So, you know, even if maybe next year might be a little bit under and it's maybe not the warmest year on the record it's still going to be feeling we're still going to be feeling this trend of upward growing temperature um this global trend of upward growing temperature and therefore more extreme weather events more impacts to our ecosystem and ultimately more impacts to our human livelihood all right we'll have to be prepared nasa oceanographer dr ivana satinich thank you so much